Football is back and the Jags are in full training mode at the new Miller Electric Performance Center. Fans just walked in and sat down for day two of open camp and news for Jacks reporter Aaron Farrar is there once again watching this as it happens. Aaron, as we hope for a successful season, fans are sharing their hopes beyond the season. A lot of them are optimistic. We did see a long line here. There are still several fans still coming in, but a lot of people are already inside the Miller Electric Center. As we give you a look at some people heading to their seats right now, others at the concession stands getting a grab or a bite to eat, some things to drink before they head over and get their seats to check out the practice session today. We saw people in line here as early as 6.30 this morning, and that's about 90 minutes before they were even allowed inside. The first two people we saw were in line, drove 15 hours all the way from Ohio. The video you're seeing right now is from someone we caught up with earlier this morning who was also here yesterday. This is David Mendenhall, a diehard Jags fan. Mendenhall plans to be at each one of these practices. And yesterday was his first day inside the new performance center, and he says he was impressed with what he saw and what he experienced as well. Yes, My man. biggest thing is I'm a big guy and I did not sweat the entire time. It was so comfortable in there. You got the shade, you got the fans. I mean, it's just incredible what they've done for us to make us comfortable. They got good food. They got a, they got a pro shop. I mean, they literally got everything a Jax fan could want. A couple of thousand fans, just like Mendenhall, packed into the Performance Center to watch a few hours of practice yesterday. That session was sold out, and a good bulk of the rest of the scheduled practices are sold out that are open to the public as well. Fans got to experience this $120 million facility for the first time. It took a year and a half to complete it from start to finish. But fans were also talking about a little bit more than that. They hope that the proposed stadium renovation right next door comes to fruition in a few years. As of now, a potential renovation is expected expected to cost about $2 billion, with the city paying half of that. As we give you another live look at some of the fans continuing to go through the entrance where they have to go through before they have, uh, have to go to this inflatable entrance and go through to get their seats. There are some limited tickets available for today. Originally, this was sold out as of yesterday, but as of this morning, there are a few tickets that are still available up for grabs. Those tickets are free. You do have to go online to claim any of the tickets for any days that are available right now. There's also one other date that's available for tickets, and that's the open practice inside the stadium. That's next Saturday, August 5th, with that practice starting at 10 o'clock. Today's practice, day two of the open practice for fans, starts at 8.45, 8.45 this morning. Reporting live, I'm Aaron Farrar, Channel 4, the local station.